You've shared a little bit about the Academy's Specialty Brand Expansion Committee in your editorial. Can you tell us more about their efforts and what are some of the opportunities they're working on to engage members? That's another great question. And thank you so much for serving on, on that committee. Um, so several years ago, even this predates COVID, we recognized uh, that we needed uh, people, um, our key stakeholders, uh, to understand the value physiatry and physical medicine and rehabilitation adds to medicine. Um, uh, so we developed the specialty brand expansion committee. It's a, a strategic coordinating committee. The chair of that committee sits on our board governors, so very important uh, position. Um, and they have been involved in all of those efforts that I just mentioned uh, that we're doing uh, with, with PASS, with long COVID. Uh, so they've helped us in um, uh, using that as a launching pad uh, to, uh, again, educate and inform the world of the value that we add to medicine. But that's not all they're doing. So uh, they've been really busy over the past couple of years. Um, uh, and this, and a lot of what they're doing is really meant to help our members spread the word as well, getting out and disseminating the great field that we're all in, physical medicine and rehab. Uh, so we have a speakers bureau. So I've talked about all of these media efforts. You know, we just can't keep going to the same people over and over again. Trust me, I'm willing to share that well. Uh, so we want to develop um, um, uh, skills uh, to help people uh, get in front of the media um, uh, and, you know, get that word out. So we're developing that, that speakers bureau. Um, uh, we have a program of physical medicine and rehabilitation awareness ambassadors. Uh, this uh, program is going to recognize academy members who have positioned PMNR through, you know, their savvy in the media, in their presentations to their own communities, um, local or regional, um, uh, or to their healthcare system, or uh, equally important, getting out and spreading the word to other specialties, other primary care specialties, the, the internists, the primary care docs, the um, uh, uh, the family practitioners, um, so that they know what we do. Because quite frankly, you know, they probably don't want to be dealing with, you know, the endless complaints of back pain and shoulder pain, and I've had a concussion, and what on earth do I do with that, and so forth. Um, you have a new program, Innovators uh, and Influencer Honorees. Uh, this program is going to recognize uh, the scientific, academic, and social compliments of uh, our AAPM and, AAPM and our members who are either in their early career, like yourselves, or in mid-career. You know, let's recognize some of the folks who are doing some good work who, well, you know, are, are maybe a little bit younger or earlier in their career than I am. Uh, we also have a new award. Um, it's the PM&R Awareness and Value Award. Uh, this is a new award that just developed this year, which recognizes um, individuals whose efforts have significantly elevated the understanding of uh, PM&R uh, throughout the, uh, the whole healthcare world. Um, uh, we've also created a new positioning payment or communication toolkit for our members. Um, this is available uh, to folks. Just you just go online. Um, it helps you know you um, or anybody now and in the future to talk about the field and really position yourself. Um, it was released in May, uh, so it's been around just a couple of months, but it includes things like key messages, uh, talking points, um, which are so important in the media. Um, you know, it has references to back up what you're saying uh, and tips to stay on message and to communicate effectively. Um, you know, so easy sometimes to get down a rabbit hole when you're talking to reporters. Um, the Academy held a webinar where some Academy leaders um, were able to get some training um, and feedback um, on how to communicate effectively. And actually that's available on our online learning portal. So that's for everybody to see. Uh, so I would encourage everybody who's listening, who's interested um, in getting a little bit more media savvy, uh, go to uh, aapmnr.org slash awareness, uh, explore more about what the uh, Academy's recent success are and, you know, and tools to help you engage in that. Uh, so, and, and, you know, that is a lot of work uh, for the SBE committee. That's only been in existence for a few years. So they are active. Well, you know, because you're on it. Um, um, you know, these folks mean business and it's just critically important for the academy um, and, and for our future. And it's and we need more than just the board of governors and, and folks on committees. We need all of our members to engage in this. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of great work that's being done mm -hmm. and to making sure there's accessible materials to the physiatrists and our um, and the members of AAPMNR to be able to speak eloquently um, to the 
media Mm -hmm. or whoever to spread awareness about our specialty. It's been a privilege, like being on the SBE committee, working and uh, working with faculty members and the staff members in the committee diligently. I know they've put in so much effort in creating some of these marketing materials to disseminate. Um, And it's been great to be involved in that aspect. And I'm excited to see where all of this is headed in the future and how accessible these materials can be for everyone to use um, and easily speak speak to it to their hospital administration or primary care doctors, mm-hmm. whoever. 